Wow, what a great honor to see all these doctors at the New York Academy of Medicine. I love doctors. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of loving you. But no pill would cure my ill. As you may have noticed, I suffer from a rare condition called Symbrachydactyly. All my life, my hands have been really different. And even my face has been really different all my life. For most of my life, I couldn't smile. And you couldn't see my lips. Since I've been born, I've been working with all kinds of doctors. They've been helping me and taking care of me. And most recently, They've been helping me to change my game. You see, two years ago, I decided to have full facial reconstructive surgery with double jaw surgery. I was terrified. But I also knew that I couldn't wait any longer being like this. I went to the surgery and could not I woke up in the middle because I had died and they had revived me. And for a second, I was awake. Eight weeks after that was a liquid diet with 100 cc's of whatever I could get in at a time through a syringe. I didn't know if I could make it. It was a year of pain for other work and braces. But now, finally... I have lips, <laughs> and I can smile like everyone else. Yeah. Thank you. This experience has really made me an expert at change, and my new book is called Change Your Game. But I've been particularly focused on giving back and helping doctors. Today, my cybersecurity practice, uh, my, most of my clients are small and mid-sized uh, medical practices. You see, cybersecurity has always been a passion of mine. It's, it's something that you didn't have to be a jock or look like anybody else to be really successful at computers. It is really a privilege to help doctors not only set up their IT infrastructure, but also to do and protect them from what Warren Buffett calls a bigger threat than nuclear war, which of course is cyber terrorism, cyber attack, and ransomware. You see, I have a real passion and aptitude, and it is so gratifying to help these doctors, help them do stuff. My friends, my closest advisors, the people that have helped me most of my life, the doctors. Now, in conclusion, and to wrap up, I would like to share a story that of advice I gave to one of my biggest clients and closest medical advisors back home. Now, if you think that cybercrime is not going to affect you, just wait. It will. It affects everyone. It even affects Dr. Oz. He was doing research at Wikilinks, and he went and found all the launch, sales, marketing, and financials for the Dr. Oz show. You see, way back, those files were stolen from Sony Pictures, which was the distributor of the series. And if you think they only go after big people like Dr. Oz, then you're wrong. Listen, these cyber criminals, these terrorists, a lot of them are just poor kids from third world countries or their shadow businesses 
that are doing everything and attacking anybody they can just to survive. I'm Kevin Freem, America's Cyberist, and I urge you, please don't be easy prey. <laughs>